Hey guys. So uh, we heard a pretty weird, a pretty weird noise last time, huh? I've come to the conclusion that it was obviously a mountain goat coming, coming from outside the window, making a very strange and not at all unearthly sound. Let's um. Oh God. Um. Continue. Into. Um. Daniel's little mental breakdown. Oh dear. No, it's those, it's those damn bugs again. Making some pretty weird noises. We'll just carry this blunt instrument with us. Also known as a chair. Why would we need a chair? I'm freaking out a little bit. Oh, hey, what is this? Nothing important. Um. Um, what's. What was. What's what's that? That's a hole, and it looks like there's some sort of object that appears to resemble a face. But we all know that that is called matrixing when we see we see some some things that just look like they are peeking. Oh look, floor plans. I like floor plans, especially when they have light in here. Oh look, isn't this <coughs> isn't this wonderful? It's very nice. Ah. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Ah, another flashback, hey, Daniel? It's an interesting flashback. Well, you know, the more you have a flashback, the more you remember, and the more we can work on... What's uh, that, uh, mice again playing that very lovely, um... Oh, hey, these have, like... Oh, they're, they're, they're floor plans. The Western Hall, um, in the East Wing. This, this won't help me at all because I'm probably gonna forget about it. But that's, that's okay. We can always, we can always come, was this not, was this not, yeah, this, that was, that was knocked over before. And then, because I threw that chair. That's, that's right. Fragile but not breakable by hand. Um, maybe if we throw a chair at it? Oop. Oh, dear. That seemed to do the trick. Very nice throw, Daniel. Let's just hop on through. Oh, dear God! Ah! Ah! You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Ah! Ah, Daniel, what's going on? This place is, you know, admittedly, it's a little on the creepy side. I will, I will agree that it is a little un unnerving, unsettling. Unsettling is a good word. Um, but, you know, it, it happens. Daniel? Daniel? You okay, honey? Calm down, Daniel. Daniel? What are you doing, Daniel? Daniel! 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. What the F? Ah! I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of it. Spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. 
the next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Daniel, you okay, honey? He blacked out there for a moment. And we saw a weird cutscene, which I'm assuming was memory. Oh look, a book. Gotta love them books. Okay. What was that? Oh, no. We're gonna keep our... our beautiful, beautiful tinderboxes. Because we're going to need those a lot later on. <sighs> From what I can remember, which apparently is not a whole lot. Because a lot of this seems pretty unfamiliar. That's okay. What's this? What? Oh. Why are these books glowing? Um. Puzzle? Perhaps? Ah, here we go. Eh. Oh, dear. Hey! Hey, it's the wine and cellar! Daniel? Daniel, what was that noise? Jesus. It was not, uh, he even said it's an old an old castle that's just breaking down. An old an old very old sp spooky castle up at Brennenburg. Let's just go back. Right, we can run. I keep on forgetting about that. Wait a minute. Oh no! Must find a new way out of the area. Okay, evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Oh, well there we go. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Find the key for the wine cellar, which we did. So now we have to find a way out of this area. Because part of it collapsed, collapsed closed, leaving us unable to, to pass. So there must be a, a door here. A door. Oh, hey, wait a minute. This is, um, isn't this the way? Oh my god, what the hell? Um, um. um um? Um? Daniel? 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 Ah! Daniel? 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 Daniel, what was that? Did you see that too, Daniel? Oh my god. Um. Okay. Obviously that that was Consuela. Um the maid from Family Guy looking for her lemon pledge, perhaps. That was, that was Consuela looking. Uh, uh. Well, uh, don't don't we have to go that way, Daniel? I think we do. Maybe, maybe it's a helpful guide, le leading us to, to safety? Oh my god! Daniel, Daniel, run, 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 Daniel, run, 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 Oh my god, the stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. Daniel. I'm going to entertain the idea that perhaps there is something unsettling happening in this place? What? Daniel? Daniel, if you could get your memories back, that would be really helpful right about now. 
because I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Oh god, wine cellar. Right, let's just let's just go. We, we can book this. We can just book it. We can just use the key. Uh, right key. Uh, inventory. Uh, tab. Right key. Use it. Tag reads wine cellar key. How do we use it? Um, use wine cellar key. Tag reads wine cellar. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get out of here. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his ha dry, crusted lips. Who's this referring to? Oh, look, there's a guy in the distance. I wonder who that is. Beware, standing in the darkness will stand. Okay, we know that. We know that. Daniel? Daniel? Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us with a wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! Daniel, I'll, I'll admit that I, I may be slightly terrified at the moment. Oh my god. What was- the door closed. Um, Daniel? 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 Daniel, the door closed. Did you close the door? I didn't close the door. Did something was uh, that get the Consuela? Did some Consuela close the door? Oh my god. Okay. Okay! Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We found the we found the cope right. We gotta find the other stuff. Oh oh look, more more chemicals must have just spilled all over the ground. Ah, ah. No. Ah. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Daniel, are you okay, Daniel? Come on, let's get up. It's okay, Daniel. It's okay. Let's let's light this candle, maybe. Will that make you feel better. There. Okay, Daniel. It's okay. It's okay, Daniel. Let's um check your sanity. Oh, dot dot dot. That's not good. It's okay to be scared, Daniel. I mean, I'm scared. Being scared is just God's gift of saving your life because oh look refilled the lantern okay so we can't get through here because it's blocked hold left down um so wait like ugh come on Daniel use those muscles of yours <coughs> When holding an object, you can I kind of was doing it. There we go. It's okay, Daniel. Daniel, beginning to think that these voices are just inside your head. And since I'm inside your head, because that's where I live now, um, that is, that is just what we're going to have to deal with. So let's just push these out of the way. Come on now, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. It's okay. Ah! Come on, Daniel. <sighs> Those are just inside. Damn, you're strong, Daniel. Those are just inside your head. Scary voices inside your head. Consuela is just inside your head. And we just gotta go kill that guy, and then we can be out of this place and safely back to wherever the hell we live. <clears throat> okay. Almost there, Daniel. Damn, there's a lot of shit here, isn't there? Ugh. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. 
Daniel? What's wrong, Daniel? Okay, come on, Daniel. Ooh, your eyesight is giving me a headache, Daniel. Okay. Okay, Daniel. It's okay, honey. There's something dripping from the ceiling. Okay, let's not look at that, Daniel. Let's not look at that. Let's not look at that. That's just... Those those are just... These are obviously... Um... Ah, uh, Daniel! What's happening? Oh, it feels like... My chest is going to burst! Oh. My God! Wilhelm, do something! Accept it. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice of him. Those, um... Daniel? I think those are dead people. <sighs> okay, blue juice. Alright. Okay, we just need one more, right? My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. Oh, hey, we, um... Oh, his last words. These are my final words. My confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brennenburg. As most of aristo aristocrats... Aristocracy. God damn it. Can't talk. I was curious about what... Ha Excuse me. I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sor sorted and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies, my past, and not honors I have been rewarded during my times as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would arrest he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position with the, within the noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly as I accepted it hold, wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men and women and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even hundreds. Uh, even a hundred. None of them, none of whom were ever seen or ever heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as well as, as we descended down the stairs, but he insisted to join us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So I began... So begins the punishment of our, for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and I fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skins has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my inside revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... Oh dear. That's a little strange, Daniel. This, um, this, this, this guy doesn't seem very, very nice, does he? This, um, this Alexander. Um, Daniel, shh, Daniel, did you hear that? No, that was just me. It was just the mice. Let's open these. There might be something inside, you never know. The RPG girl inside of me. Okay, let's just take a moment. We're in the light. I don't trust anything I hear anymore because I think that we are just having a mental breakdown. And you know, that happens from time to time. We're all allowed to have our mental breakdowns because sometimes when we have our mental breakdowns, that just, how much, how many, okay, we have three. We need one more. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, Daniel. It's all good. Everything, everything's going to be just fine, Daniel. Daniel, let's go this way. <gasps> what? Enemy is near. What do you mean enemy is near? What do you mean enemy is near? <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, Daniel. Daniel, what is that? That is not Consuelo. That is something scary. Daniel. <laughs> Oh 
smoke. Oh, I, I was looking. I, I wasn't reading anything. Daniel? Daniel? Come on, get up, Daniel. Daniel? Daniel? Oh, Daniel, did you pierce your ear? Oh, that hurts. <gasps> don't look, Daniel. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look at it, Daniel. It's not there. There's something, there's something there. I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. I'm going to close my eyes, Daniel. Will you turn around and look for me? <gasps> okay, I didn't turn around. Did I just turn around all the way? <gasps> Daniel? Daniel? Daniel, what was that? Oh, oh, oh god. Okay. Okay. That's okay. We'll get used to this soon, Daniel. It's always scary the first time. Make sure we didn't miss any cool items, huh? Daniel, what a funny story, Mark. Was that door open? Does this door lead back? Does... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm hearing noises in my own room. Huh. Oh. What's that? Someone. What? Oh, God. We got the last one. Wait, then what did we pick up before? I thought that was... Was that a healing item? It must have been. Okay, let's get out of here, Daniel. <sighs> Next time, we'll become scientists. Um, see you then.